Hey everyone, welcome to Flutter Forward. Maureen Josephine here, um, a software engineer, a Google developer expert in Flutter and Dart, the first female Flutter GDE in Sub-Saharan Africa, and the first Flutter GDE in Kenya. And I'm really, really excited today about the Flutter Forward event in Nairobi, Kenya, because for the first time in history, Google is hosting one of its big Flutter event in Africa, which is really great honor for me today. And I will be speaking about Flutter in Africa. First, let's take a look at Africa's tech landscape. There has been tremendous growth in Africa's tech ecosystem, and this has been boosted by several factors like the venture funds, development finance, corporate involvement, as well as the ever-growing innovative tech communities, which is really, really helpful in terms of getting more people into tech and as well as getting them job opportunities. And with that, we've also seen growth and development of more tech hubs in Africa, which is really, really impressive. According to research insights of GSMA, an organization that takes interest of mobile network operators worldwide, we have about 618 active tech hubs in Africa as from 2018 with about 48 tech hubs in Kenya. And this is set to grow with a rapid tech development in Kenya as well as Africa at large. A tech hub is a community that promotes innovation for technology-based companies. And this is really, really impressive since we have more job opportunities and more people getting into tech. According to Google's research on Africa's tech ecosystem, there's been an increase in people taking up tech careers, which is really, really impressive. There's also been a rising number of startups with increased demand for skilled developers, and this equates to opportunities. Google's pipelines program like Google Africa Developer Scholarships, GADS, in partnership with Adela and Pluralsight, helps in getting more people into tech. Tech communities are also giving support to newbies and those who are already in tech space a chance to network into share opportunities. Organizations such as Tamilimu, among others, are also offering mentorship programs, and this also helps get more people into tech. Programs that give support to women in tech, like Google's Women Tech Makers I Am Remarkable programs, also help get more women in tech, and this helps bridge the gender gap. And some organizations like Tabua Women in Tech that give shoutouts to women in tech worldwide also helps in featuring women across Africa, and this helps in building their confidence. And now, let's talk about Flutter in Africa. If you are not familiar with Flutter yet, Flutter is a cross-platform SDK used to develop Android, iOS, web, and desktop apps, all from a single code base, which is really, really impressive. So what's the status of Flutter in Africa? There are many developers getting started with Flutter, which is pretty much impressive. We also have rising number of startups starting to adopt the usage of Flutter in their day-to-day -day development. And this leads to job opportunities creation with demand for Flutter developers. We also have Flutter tech communities coming up. And with great support from Google for Flutter communities, we have so many events being organized, which is pretty much impressive. And now, with the rising interest in the framework itself, it means Flutter developers across Africa can participate in any other activities that other Flutter developers across the world would, such as working together on side projects, collaborating on creating packages, participating in hackathons, and many more. And besides this, they can also get job opportunities from any part of the world, be it remote or locally or even relocating to other parts of the world that they would love to. And this means satisfaction. And what satisfaction only means is quality of life, which is pretty much impressive. And with that, let's hear some Flutter stories from individuals and startups in Africa who are using Flutter in their day to day and how Flutter has been useful to them. So first, we'll start with Kennedy Karoko, who is a software engineer at Bionate, and he's going to share how Flutter has been useful to them as a company and how it helps them improve their productivity. Hi, uh, my name is Kennedy Karoko. I work as a software engineer at Bionate. Uh, Bionate is a digital health company that offers online text and video consultations with the name of making healthcare a right rather than it being a privilege. Uh, we use Flutter as our main stack. Uh, the main reason is because healthcare is very dynamic, combining enduring patterns of practice with evolving ones to meet challenges. And that being said, uh, new features, especially for a digital health company, need, need to be developed as fast as possible. And Flutter offers uh, that opportunity, uh, 
being that you know it's cross platform uh, so you can be able to focus on one code base and once you're done with your feature uh, your users can uh, receive updates on you know any platform that they're using be it ios android or the web uh, we have a doctor's application we have a patient application uh, also a web application of you know patients and it's amazing how you can be able to develop all these uh, using uh, just one framework and it's truly uh, incredible. Uh, to be honest, I would say that you know, uh, Flutter has exceeded our expectations. This is very evident because you know, our feedback from our users unanimously indicates that uh, they want new, new features rather than making changes to existing features. And that truly says that there is no problem with whatever we have developed so far. And this is, you know, really uh, incredible. Um, as a software engineer, I would say using Flutter is incredibly easy. You know, you are able to uh, do complex things, you know, with ease. It's very easy to come up with solutions that are, you know, pretty complex. And I, um, uh, yeah, I really enjoy uh, using Flutter. So hopefully uh, you're gonna go to the App Store or you know the Play Store and check our app out. Thank you. Next, let's hear from Paul Wekesa, who is the founder of Takuana, and he's gonna share how Flutter has been useful to them as a company and how it has helped them improve their productivity as well. Hello, I'm Paul Wekesa the founder of Takwana Limited, a tech startup in Kenya focused in building affordable and accessible technologies for our community. Some of the products we built is like um, Ganya, um, it's a circle management system, a vehicle circle management system, and uh, Shule Manager, which is a school financial management system. We, have, we chose Flutter as our primary development framework for several reasons. Uh, first of all, Flutter allows us to build high-quality natively compiled applications, both for Android and iOS, using a single code base. Uh, this means that we can create seamless cross-platform um, interactions um, without having to maintain separate code bases or invest in specialized resources. Uh, secondly, Flutter is, has a rich ecosystem of plugins and uh, packages which allows us to easily add new features and functionalities to our applications. This means that we can quickly and easily bring our ideas to life without having to spend a lot of resources on development. Flutter is also open source. Uh, it's also an open source framework, uh, uh, meaning that we can collaborate with other develop uh, developers across the Flutter community. This allows us to leverage collective knowledge, um, expertise uh, of the Flutter community and continually improve and advance our technology. We believe that Flutter has, is a great choice for our startup because uh, it's easy to learn uh, and to use. Um, even for developers who might not have a lot of experience with mobile app development, uh, they are it's very easy for them to get into it and do as uh, uh, high quality applications. Um, overall, uh, we believe that Flutter is the best choice for our startup because it allows us to build high quality and affordable technologies quickly and efficiently, uh, while also providing us with the flexibility uh, to innovate and grow. Thank you. From the startup stories, it's evident how Flutter has been useful to them as companies and how it has helped them improve their productivity. Next, let's hear some Flutter stories from Flutter developers who are actually using Flutter in their day-to-day -day and how Flutter has helped them get opportunities. First, we'll hear from Etonam, who is a Flutter engineer, and is going to share his Flutter story. Hello, my name is Bright Etonam Su, and... I'm a mobile engineer specializing in developing Flutter applications from Ghana. Um, I discovered Flutter somewhere in 2018, and before that, I used to be a native Android app developer. Um, I mean, Flutter helps you create um, your applications like very easily. 
I mean, imagine you have, you've been given a canvas and a paint brush and some paints to draw what you want. At that point, the only thing limiting your creativity is basically your, your own imagination, right? And it's the same thing as, as with Flutter. Um, Flutter gives you power over every pixel on your screen. Um, personally, I've built over 16 applications, um, and most of them are actually on Play Store and App Store. And also, I have quite a number of um, open source projects on my GitHub. Um, Flutter has given me the opportunity, or has opened a lot lots of doors for me, to work with um, a lot of uh, companies, home and abroad. Um, I've worked with companies in Congo, Nigeria, um, US, and also in Germany. Um, I believe Flutter is the future, and so far, I mean, it's been great. Um, I make my living off developing Flutter applications and migrating old um, code base to the latest um, Flutter versions. So this is my Flutter story. Finally, let's hear from Eric Muli, who is going to share how Flutter has been useful to him in his career path and how it has helped him get opportunities as well. Hi, everyone. My name is Eric Muli, a software engineer at Wizardbook. I'm also the colleague for Flutter Kenya, which we are rebranding to Flutter Nairobi. Allow me to welcome you all to Kenya, Karibuni Kenya. Uh, today I want to share a little bit about my journey as a Flutter engineer, uh, which has been super awesome and great. I was introduced to Flutter back in 2018 by a friend uh, called David. Uh, by that time, I was building mobile Android applications with Java, and I was really looking forward to uh, build for both Android and iOS using just one code base. And Yes, at that time there were a number of frameworks, but uh, which I tried all of them, but they did not meet my expectation in terms of performance, in terms of uh, acceptance by the community, and even the how big the community as well. So I tried Flutter as it was recommended. I took a three months course, and uh, at the end of that three months, I had made a decision that it was Flutter all the way, and up to date, I've been building application with Flutter. So the real most interesting part of it, at the end of those three months, I was referred to a job by a person that I've never met and up to date, uh, we've never met in person, which was really awesome and gave me even the motivation to continue using Flutter. So I've built flat, I've used Flutter to build applications for companies all over, even for different clients, uh, both locally in Kenya and outside which has been super awesome. I've met great people, great engineers that I've worked with, great engineers that I've, we have shared ideas with and I've learned from. And out of that, we built a community for Flutter in Kenya, uh, called Flutter Kenya. So it was uh, 2018, and at that time, there weren't any Flutter communities, which was a bit painful for someone that was starting, someone that was looking for network, someone who was looking to be mentored to be a Flutter developer. Then that's where we came up with Flutter Kenya with my friends, uh, Candy, Sam, and Danvik, and I. And I can say it has been an awesome journey since then up to date because the community has really grown. Uh, currently, we stand at roughly 2,000 two plus members, which uh, I'm super confident enough. They are super great engineers, uh, Flutter engineers, and even the juniors that are coming up are being mentored by the huge pool of engineers that are there. So with Flutter, it has been really great. I've been invited to speak to events. I've been invited to conferences, also to answer in panels uh, about Flutter and that, which uh, it's something that I had never thought about in my life. And also the cool part of it, I've created a huge pool of network. I've met with GDEs, uh, regional managers who have become even good friends of mine that we share ideas, share opportunities, and even learn from each other. So also I've met uh, a number of uh, members of the Flutter team, uh, people like Nile, Sarah, which we have really worked together to bring up the Flutter community in Kenya. So I can't really complain about anything about Flutter. All I can say, it changed me from an agricultural biosystems engineer to a software engineer, which was never part of my, my plan in life, but it's something that I really do appreciate because the openings and the opportunities that have been there are quite awesome. So 
All I can say is thank you all and thank you to the Flutter team and long live Flutter. Thank you. From these stories, we all learn that Flutter has been useful to these individuals in terms of getting opportunities, sharing opportunities, networking with other people, getting into community leadership, which is really, really amazing. Next, let's see some Flutter communities in Africa that you could join from wherever you are. And it's amazing how these communities come up day by day and with great support from the Flutter team, we get so many events organized, either physically or virtually, that you could join from wherever you are. And here is the list of some of them. And this list of Flutter communities in Africa is available on Meetup under Flutter Meetup Network, where you could filter by any region that you'd love to join. And some of them are Flutter Africa, Flutter Kisumu, Flutter Kenya, Flutter Lagos, Flutter Cameroon, Flutter Ghana, and many more. And the benefits of these communities is that it brings developers together and it also allows opportunity to network and also learn from other people, which is really, really amazing. And speaking of communities, I'm an organizer of Flutter Kisumu, Kenya, and this is a pictorial view of our last Flutter Festival event organized by Flutter Kisumu, which was really, really amazing to see. Great turnout for our first physical event with about 85 plus attendees who are eager to learn about Flutter, eager to share resources about Flutter, eager to get opportunities as well as share opportunities, which was really, really amazing to see. If you are just getting started with Flutter, check out these links and resources to help you in your learning journey. Head out to flutter.dev to get a basic idea of what Flutter is, how Flutter works, and simply bootstrap some dummy apps to help you in your learning journey. And besides, also check out the Dart language tour to help you with the Dart basics and how to navigate the Dart programming language. And with that, thank you, thank you so much for tuning in to this talk on Flutter in Africa. Should you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me on Twitter with the handle at underscore Akelo. Thank you.